Hi folks, this is Mini Countries, a logistics puzzle game where you slowly get more and more cities appearing on your little island and have to connect and reconnect them all up um, to make sure that everyone's resource demands are being met. Uh, since you only have a limited number of connections at any one time and you never know where the next city is going to arise, uh, you constantly need to rethink your networks. Uh, this is out on February the 12th, so it should be out by now, uh, thanks to the developer for giving me a preview key to this. So that's our first city, that's arisen on this. This is a Portugal, apparently. It's a bit smaller than I remember. Uh, but that's where our first city has arisen. And um, at the top, um, it, it indicates that soon we're going to get demand for stone. Um, the resources at the moment, we've got fish, gold, wood, and stone on this particular map. Other maps have other resources. Right, so that's easy enough. All we have to do is plonk a farm down on the stone area and make a connection. Um, if you hover over the cities when you've got the, the connections made, you can see that we have made one of four um, maximum connections. Um, we're allowed to connect it to one more other city, three more other resource makers, and one warehouse. Uh, the storage building only appears from level 3 onwards. Before then, um, you have to do everything very directly. But this, ad this level adds indirect connections, which is all very jolly indeed. So now we're just like waiting. Um, at the end of the month, we'll refresh the connections and trade um, resource producey type things we can build. You can only do a few at any particular time. Um, stone is requested a new resource, so okay, so let's pause that. So yes, now that city there is going to start wanting stone every so often. We're already supplying it with plenty of stone, so the demand is being filled quite nicely. Uh, the next thing that's going to happen is a wood. Uh-oh, but having said that, another city has randomly appeared very close to the old one. Mamo Dero. Uh, you can rename these if you want. Uh, I don't think I'll bother. So you're going to need stone and all. Now we can't just connect that resource up to the city because we've already made the maximum number of connections. Uh, resource producers can only connect up to one uh, other place. Um, okay, so now we've been given a few extra things to use. So now we can build a maximum of four connections and three trade producer type things. Right, so that's producing stone and delivering it to there. And we'll need what we'll do for now is just connect that up to there and that up to there. And now that will feed stone into that uh, new city as well. So everything looks fine, everything looks good, but we will start need to think about wood and all. Oh no, another city. Uh, there's gold there to the left, but we don't need that just yet. Um, so, let's get more stone. I'm not really planning ahead with my roads at the moment. Okay, so there we go. Now we'll probably have to start thinking about wood. Um, I'll start by just connecting that up to there. Simple, straightforward. We can always delete connections and rebuild them as we go. That. That city is now requesting stone, and so is that one. Thankfully, we are feeding that demand. This one is going to happen soon. That's fine. And um, we're feeding stone into there. So all is technically being done. More connections, and oh, we get a choice. Uh, we can either get more producey type places, um, or we can have an indirect storage place. Um, I'll continue with my trade things now, because I think we'll probably need more uh, primary things rather than secondaries. Yeah, okay, so stuff's going in, everything's fine, wood's going in there, but we don't need that just yet, so the wood is just sitting there. And we can connect up cities to cities and then move goods between places manually, provided that we've actually made a uh, specific uh, manual connection between them. Okay, oh well, I went to the city. So, as resource demands are being met, our populations of the cities are going up. We've got 81 people in our cities at the moment. The goal for this level, get 750. So essentially just keep going, meeting everyone's demands, and eventually that'll tick up to 750. Um, the, um, the way to lose this is if you um, let a city get too demanding of the same resource. Uh, and then as soon as you get up to about, I think it's five demands, um, you have a limited amount of time before uh, the game ends if you don't meet that demand. Right, so we've got another city here. It's going to want stone, isn't it? This is when we're going to start thinking about needing a, a, a warehouse. What we can do is just do that. So we've connected up a city to another city. And that's the most amount of cities to cities connections I can make. So we can't then continue on to connect that city with another city and so on. The, as I say, the, the links are in this are very uh, limited. And you have to plan your network accordingly. Okay, so now that timer has been meant that cities are going to start requesting wood as well as stone. If you look at these percentages, uh, this does mean that um, um, demands are going to be allocated based on that, so it's... Ooh, we'll open the connection or whatever. Um, we'll need storage, I think. Let's pause this. So 27% of the time, a city will spontaneously decide it needs stone, but most of the time, it's going to want wood. So wood is something that we're going to have to think about a lot. So that city up there doesn't really have wood. I think I might actually stop placing my first warehouse. Uh, so, 
I mean, the, the, that gold over there, what I'll do is connect that up to the... Oops, can't. Hang on. Connect that directly up to the warehouse, and then we'll be able to start filling that with gold and then probably manually um, moving things around, but we'll see. So, wood. And that... We, our primary... What I'll do is I'll make the wood go into the warehouse, and then the warehouse can go to this... Oh, we can't. We can't put the warehouse to the city because the city's already maxed out its connections. I think we can't... The city, I think if we, for instance, delete that, we may be able to sneak a connection like that. So that means now, in th also in theory, we could... That's a bit of a weirdo connection. <laughs> but that means that warehouse is now connected to... Ooh, that was not what I meant. Hang on. It wasn't quite what I meant. I meant to connect up to that city down there. Oh, it's getting a bit messy now. Right, so it looks a bit weird, but what I've done is make it so everything... Oh, hello. Oh, yes, that connection um, took a while for me to... I deleted it, but it takes sometimes takes a while for it to give it back to you because there's something on the road. And so what we've got here is... Oh, that's not actually connected up to anything. So we've got a lot of these things feeding into the warehouse, so we will, in theory, start to need to distribute things a bit more manually. Like this. Like, we've got wood up here, so choose wood, and then drag it to this place to fulfil that demand, right down there. This city is also wanting wood, and we could do that manually, but really, we don't want to keep on doing things manually. Oh, they want trees and all. Hmm. So this is where we start to think about needing to change things around a bit, but we haven't got any connections yet. Ooh. Thing that storage is full, so we've got plenty of... Oh, okay, we've got, we've got stuff. Trade. Okay, hang on. Again, we are getting a bit ropey here. And what I think I'll do is I'll put another primary wood producer there and connect that up to there. That's fine. So that wood producer here is going to the warehouse instead. So what we could do, I think... Yes, we still have some connections there. Um, so the wood can now, again, manually go up to you. Because it doesn't look like there's any good way of getting... Oh, actually, what we could do is... Hmm... I could put a different wood into that warehouse, and then this could go directly into there. Into that city here. But this, it looks like they need a lot of wood. I think everyone needs a lot of wood. This city up here, meanwhile, is doing very well on its own, but we are going to start to need gold soon. We are mining gold. <laughs> very slowly, but surely. So we are building up a little bit of a... Oh god, hang on. Yeah, there's a lot of wood needed. There's lot, you're not getting any wood, but let's... Again, so we don't have to do this manually. Let's just feed it there so we actually are using that resource thing. But we now we've got nothing left to actually sp spend. So we have to wait to the end of the month. Oh, that place. Oh, that place. It really could do with some automatic wood for the people. Hmm. What I could do is try and connect this up to the warehouse thing. But we, we're starting to win out connections, really. Um, unfortunately, now we haven't actually got any spare connections. We can't see. We can't actually work out how many... Connections we have on a thing for some reason. Anyway, let's um let's just wait until the the, the the month ends. This doesn't happen perpetually. Um, after a while, you don't get you start not get given more stuff. Um, may have to be another storage thing. So there's a lot we can do here. I don't really want to use warehouses and then keep on having to do everything manually. It feels like that should just be a kind of like a um uh, a thing for. Obscure resources like gold. For wood, I want everything to be automatic. So I may have to redesign this. So I've made everything incredibly manual now, just for the time being. Um, I've got I've connected I've got another warehouse and I'm connecting them up. Uh, and now I've got to decide exactly what's going on. So that wood is gonna go into there, so that's fine. This city is not connected at all, actually. This is this is less than ideal. Let's make, hook that up to the grid. So long as the wood keeps flowing, I think we should be fine. Although the gold is about to hit us. The gold is very unlikely to be needed. 6%. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hang on. We've got we've got ourselves a situation. Okay, so this city down here. For briefly, it, fl it flicked over into having five resource requests. I think it's gone back down to four again. So long as we get stone and wood delivered to it within 30 seconds and get, get it down to three demands or less, we're fine. And it looks like this is actually not going to happen because we're fine. We are delivering wood and stone to it. So that's actually just a bit of a false alarm, simply because I was deleting everything and restarting. Okay, that's fine. We are actually set up for, to cope with that already. All good. Now this, uh, this tree... Oh, hello. This tree demand over here is not being fulfilled automatically. 
what I might do for now is just do that manually, just drag you over to there. Really is a good idea to have wood done automatically. I think that wood's going to there, wood's going into there, wood's going into... Th see, this wood's going into the warehouse rather than anything, which isn't ideal. I couldn't have that wood delivered directly to that house, but we could only have one connection uh, from the for the resource thing, and that's got to be... Oh no, a new city! Ugh. We need 750 people, we've got about a third of that at the moment. So... Boop! <laughs> there. That makes things easy. We can fulfill demands quite straightforwardly like that. Oh, you need gold! Um, well, okay, here's what we'll do. Gold goes down to that place. Because at the moment the gold is going automatically into that warehouse. So now I'm sending it manually to that warehouse down there, and then I'm going to have to send it manually down to that one down there. Uh, just the one. I can't do it directly because I haven't actually connected this warehouse up with that city, and I can't because there's no connections anyway left over. Oh yeah, ooh, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was the last of my allocated things. So that's, I can't make any more. I have to delete old ones and get new ones. So I've actually got, I've got another, yet another storage. I probably should have got a, a, a trade producer rather than a storage thing. Um, it always gives you a choice from map three onwards. Right, so tree-wise, again, we're going to have to... I, th I think if I just absolutely plough... I think it's, I think there's a maximum of five trees that can go into there. I think every city can only store five of each individual item. But I th So I think it's only allowed me to send five trees up there. that will keep it going for the time being. This doesn't have any. See, this is a problem. And this... Okay, we're going to have to send trees over to there. And again, this is happening manually, and I don't really like that. But we've got more cities than, I think, than we've got tree producers, so... We will have to do a certain amount of this, but this is not a long-term game. You don't spend a forever on one map. Oh, shitty. Okay. That's happening. We need more stone? Uh. See, all this fanning around, we've got another resource that's going to that's gonna land on us. Some fish at some point soon. So we've got to think about planning ahead for that and all. Okay. You boop, boop. Go into there. We need to pay most attention to wood demands. If wood demands... Because that's 68% of the demand. If wood demands get out of hand, things could escalate very quickly. Stone, not so bad. But again, we don't really have. And that's I think things are going into the warehouse, which means we have set things up to be very manual indeed. But that's fine. It just means that we have to do a lot more clicking. We'll send a little tractor lad going over to deliver stone to you. I think we're going to have to... We have to move a lot of things around. Oh, God, this, another new city. Ooh. Where's that? That's there! Oh, piss. Hmm. Can we just connect that up to that city? No, we can't, because the, that, that city's connected with that warehouse. Oh, how about that? We can do that. It's not ideal again, because we've got literally no manual, um, automatic connections going to that. Ooh. But, slowly but surely, we are ticking up towards 750. You're going to need that. You're also going to need some stone, so let's just fill you up. You need gold, that's fine. Where is the gold? I think gold can go up to there, so we've split the gold somewhat. You need trees. Uh, we need to probably drag some over there, and you go to there. Oh god, they need a shit ton. The gold is now here, so that can go over to there. You need wood. Let's send that out to you. There's still another gold thing that we can... I don't really want... I've got one more trade producer, but I'm saving that for the fish that are about to hit us in the face. Ooh. Right, okay, so that's that demand sorted. Two, one, gone. And now fish. Fish are happening. That's fine, we can drag up to that. So, where are fish? Fish are up there and fish are here. I think there's probably a good place to do that. Let's feed that into the warehouse. And we are now... Oh god, everyone wants fish! Ugh, everyone wants fish. Um, hmm. I really wish I'd got another trade producer instead of another warehouse. Uh, we're going to have to really... Ooh, I've, I've got it paused because things are going to get a bit wild now. We're going to have to really sort out everything. Everyone just wants fish. Fish, fish, bloody fish. Ooh. Yeah, I've only got one fish producer. And that's going to take a bit of time. There is seasons in this game. Uh, but I think, it, generally... I think he, maps, to start with at least, only give you only, only are set in one season. Right, okay, so fish is going to be 21% of the demand, which is quite a lot. It's replaced some of the tree demand. 
noticeably. We do actually have to think about moving our trees around a bit. There's a lot of stone in there. Okay, so we have fish in here. So let's send some fish back the way they came. That'll sort you out. Oh, everyone. Oh, you want trees? Okay, you want trees. Let's give you loads of trees. Okay. Are we getting more fish? Yes, we are. So you can go to there because you're getting quite full. Trees. I'll send you piss tons of trees. <laughs> give you a log. Good old loggage. Kenny loggage. Right. So you want... Oh, God. You want fish for days. They want fish for days. Now, this is going to be tight. We need... We need another, what, 200 people? And we can do this, but I, f I say we aren't, we're not satisfying our fish demands. I, I asked for too many warehouses, and now I've got egg all over my bloody face. Right, so you need to go... Oh, we can't. Okay, this is going to have to be an indirect thing. So warehouse to warehouse, and then warehouse to, to fish place. Ooh, we need more fish. Um, I could delete a producer. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but let's get rid of you. New fish area. Really, this fish area needs to go into the warehouse rather than into a city. So that's okay. So both, both warehouse now receive fish. We are going to have to start feeding trees into this place if it needs it. Everyone just needs. Ooh. You're not getting automatic trees. You're, there's only gold in that warehouse. Okay, drag, move. I'm probably making this sound more frantic than it is because you can always pause. But okay, you can. Have the gold, and and now we're just really waiting for our fish network <laughs> to um, to really come good. So you can go. You're gonna have to go to there, I think. There's some fish here, which can go up to you. That that one up the top right is getting a bit leery. Let's feed you with some stone. That'll keep you going for a long time. Oh, the first fish is arriving. New fish. Fish, fish, fish. Uh oh, piss. My city is getting leery. We should be able to satisfy... Or well, get that back down to three or below just by delivering that bit of wood. So that should be okay. Are we getting fish in? Yes, we are. Fish. We'll send that to you. We've got fish up here, which we can send up to the top right. And we are... Okay, we are still heading towards our 750. But we are keeping... I think we are keeping a lid on it now. Fish can go up to there again. These these need fish. We'll send one fish to you. And only one fish to you. That's fine. Fish. Okay, all sorted. Speed this up a bit. I think we are we are now on top of it. I think we are going to sort this out quite nicely. Drag fish to you. Might as well do both fish. Did I do that? No, I didn't. One fish to you. Uh, I think I'll... Um, I'll be generous and give more fish up to you, because I think... Uh-oh, wood. Wood, 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 wood. All right, lots of wood down to you. Slow slow things down a bit, because I am... Things are getting on top of me again. You to there. You to there. And probably more fish up to the top right as well. And wood is coming. You need stone. Where's stone these days? Oh, God, it's all up here. So you're going to do that. Uh oh, who are you? Oh, you! It's okay, I think we are fulfilling this. It's just going to take a bit of time. Because the tractors are on their way. Here we go. Wood, 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 wood. And I think the fish... Oh, the fish isn't... Oh, the fish is being dispatched. We're all good. Now the big issue is getting wood over to you. Uh, stone is coming. Fish is... You can go to there. Fish can go to there. Another fish up to the top right as well. And I think we're settled again. We just need... A bunch of stone going to you. You need fish. Fish. More wood is required, so let's bring some of that down. We're not getting... Uh, our, mm, our population isn't going up very fast. I think we are... We, we should be okay, though. I think it's just a matter of waiting, really. Just to make sure that we don't trip ourselves up. But the key, really, is to make everything as um, automatic as possible, rather than fanning around with manual, but it it never gives you enough stuff. That's the whole thing about the game. You always have to be thinking about how to make things more efficient and all that. So I guess one of the things here is like predicting likely demand. Like if you see someone wanting wood, whatever, you may as well give them as much wood as you can because you know they're going to need it. But with gold, um, just fill, fill it. If they want one gold, just give them one gold. There's no point in filling them up. 
Um, otherwise, you might not have gold for other people. So most of the demands are being met very fast. So our population is continuing to rise, otherwise it falls. So you've got to be got to keep things in control. I think we're all good. We have got not a huge amount of demands, and we're about to hit a magical 750. And all is wonderful. Oh, you need some trees. Well, you get a tree. You get one. Bung that in your fire, you bastards. And 749, 750, and we've won! Woohoo! Confetti. Yay! You have achieved the necessary goals. The next level is now unlocked, which is Ireland! Uh, this time with cow, wood, grape, and sheep. And that'll be the autumn. Uh, we've already seen Portugal, and before that was Latvia and Switzerland. All slowly but surely introducing more and more things. Bloody hell, 32 minutes. Oh no. That should be fun to edit. Anyway, so this is out now. Thanks for watching. Do check out the rest of my stuff. Do subscribe to randomize users to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games out there. Check me out on Patreon or buy me a coffee if you want to support us in these times that we live in and all that. Uh, bye for now.